my friends how are you it is monday the 24th um i'm actually my hair does its own thing i'm actually going to read the proverb from yesterday i read it yesterday and i just couldn't get a chance to record for you guys sorry about that so i'll do it today it's a false witness proverbs 21 28 a false witness will perish and whoever listens to him will be destroyed forever. Sometimes we think it's only the gossip, the mudslingers, who is the big sinner. We think we can listen and not get mud on our faces. But our Proverbs today tells us it is just not so, friends. Have you ever heard the expression consider the source some people always reporting on everything putting a warped twist on things consider the source i knew such a person as so do i each time she spoke something bad about someone there was a hard little edge to her face well the girl i'm talking about she looks sweet as pie. She doesn't wear makeup. She's homely. She got blue eyes and she just looks so sweet as pie. Even when she covered it up with an appearance of a godly concern. That's kind of going back a few proverbs before is you need to be careful not to gossip it, even in prayer. I, I remember I went to like on a Friday morning, I went to a women, like my, I think it was my first women's prayer thing. And um, it was like a, a gossiping prayer. It was two women across from each other. And we want to pray for Doug and, and we know and I know that he has this going on and that going on. And then that person would go, and I also want to pray for Doug's wife because I know that she's doing this and doing that. Oh, and it was just kind of like this gossiping thing. And what was sad is that they're both pastor's wives praying like that. And it was, you know, eventually such people get a reputation. Mm -hmm. And all the bad things they have said about others seem to describe them. It's like children's wine. Bounce like rubber, stick like glue. Bounce off then, stick on you. Yes, yes. Um, the girl that I know that gossips and whispers all the time and, um, I was like, does she like want to be in ministries just to get people's dish, you know, so she can dish it out? And, and it's a constant, always constant thing with her. And even to the point where, like, I'll be talking to someone and all of a sudden she's standing right there. It has nothing to do with her, you know, and I was getting frustrated. And like, why are you here? And it's because she has to know all the cheese moles. Run for those people. Run, run. On the other hand, there are some people you can trust completely. Yay! Yes, there is. Um, they have no interest in tearing others down. <sighs> There's very few people like that. I have a wise, gracious friend named Linda. Constantly, when she hears a critical comment about someone, she tactfully but firmly turns it around to say something positive. When we speak, you can trust that on her tongue is the law of kindness. Proverbs 31, 26. Good job, Linda. May we be known as women who are sweet with our words and gentle to others. Oh yes, let's let's be though. Let's be kindness. Oh Philippians 2, 14, 15. Give us an excellent guide. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe. I want to shine like a star. Oh, yes. I'm still trying to do everything without complaining thing. Um, mm -hmm. 
Let's make it personal. Personal. I can't talk tonight. What was my lipstick? Another application of this term is false witness is one of the slanders of goodness and wisdom of God. Beware of those who put a false spin on the truth. This is exactly what Satan did in the Garden of Eden. Ah, sneaky. Satan told and sold a lie. But Eve bought it. He slandered God by insinuating that God does not know or want the best for us. Millions of women through the ages have taken that bait remember ladies remember whoever listens to him will be destroyed forever be wise the antidote of course is the word of god jesus said you will know the truth and the truth will set you free john 8 32 yes amen 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 if you get anything from this video, if you get anything from any videos that I recorded to put up for you, is read, 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 read. You have to read. I have to read. We have to read. We have to read so that we can see clearly, so that we know how to run from the gossipers. We know how not to act. So we know how to be kind and forgiving and all those things that we get from the Holy Spirit through God's word. We need to read, please read, 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 even if it's one verse. May the Lord bless you, keep you and be with you. Keep your focus on him read his word, hear his word, write his word, do his word. Yes, yes, yes. Teach your children, your grandchildren, your foster children, your neighbors, your husband, your mother, your daughter, your sister, your aunt. Pray, read, share. Hey, I read this one verse. I don't know what it means. Call a friend. Text somebody. Or if the Lord woke you up, like this morning the Lord woke me up, I put it on Facebook. I texted to a friend first and then I even put it on my story. Like, I woke up literally this morning. I don't know, four. I don't know why. Sufficient for you. I'm like, what's sufficient for me? Sufficient for you. Sufficient for you. I know that's a Bible verse. But I couldn't think or figure out what what comes before sufficient for you. Blank sufficient for you. Huh? What you talking about, Willis? It's too early. What do you mean? And it, it, so I Googled, grabbed my phone, Googled, sufficient for you. Boosh! My grace is sufficient for you. I feel like the Lord put the word grace in our vocabulary for me, for me, just for me. So I texted it to a friend, I put it on Facebook. I know he was speaking to me and maybe he's speaking to you. Share it, share it, share it, read it. If I never read the word, I wouldn't even know that sufficient for you is in the Bible, right? We're not all Bible scholars. Oh. Okay, go read.